welcome to Business Standards Afternoon News Update. First to the top headlines. Supreme Court to examine CBI probe report on Colgate today. Tata Steel registers highest production of hot metal crude steel in quarter one and the Apex Court asks Tata Motors to clear stand over the disputed Singur land. Now the news in detail. In the ongoing probe into the Colgate case, the Supreme Court today is slated to take up the status report filed by the CBI into the investigation. The Apex Court will also be considering the affidavit filed by the Centre regarding autonomy for the CBI. This was after the court hauled the agency and lamented it was a caged ferret in the hands of the government. The Supreme Court had taken strong exception to the fact that the then Law Minister Ashwini Kumar, as well as the officials from the Prime Minister's office and the Coal Ministry, had vetted the CBI's status report on its investigations into the Coal Yates scam. The government thereafter constituted a GOM to give greater autonomy to the CBI. Tata Steel registered hot metal production of 2.46 million ton, a growth of 20% compared to the same period last year for the first quarter of the current fiscal. The crude steel production was 2.22 million ton, up 22%. Saleable steel production was higher by 23% to 2.14 million ton and sales increased by 26% to 2.01 million ton in the quarter ended June 30th. Highest ever production of hot metal was 2.464 million tons in the first quarter. The second highest production was 2.458 million tons in the last quarter of the previous fiscal. The Supreme Court today asked Tata Motors to make its stand clear on its leasehold rights over the Singur land in the wake of changed scenario as the company has already moved its car plant out of West Bengal. The court said that the land should move back to the agriculturists and we may ask the West Bengal government to file an affidavit on the issue of giving the money back to you which you had paid at the time of the land acquisition in the interests of justice. We think it will serve the purpose. The High Court had on June 22 last year ruled that the legislation enacted by the West Bengal government to recover the land leased to Tata Motors in Singur for its nano-small car project was constitutionally invalid and that the President's assent had not been taken for the Act. That is all in the Bulletin for now. Thank you and join us again in the evening for more news.